Let's dig into this story, though, with attorney Andrew Stoltman. I want to get your take from a legal standpoint here. Uh, first off, let's talk about um, the questions for the potential jurors that Ali Bradley mentioned. Uh, what do you make of them? Well, I think choosing a jury in this case is going to be really difficult for prosecutors. It's not like a jury in Chicago, right? Because you have fellow ranchers, you have people who own guns, you have people who hunt all the time. So to be able to ask some of these questions and be able to weed out people who, for example, don't have guns, uh, don't have strong views on guns, I think all of that is going to be really difficult for the prosecutors. Yeah, and Ali was mentioning, you know, the state's case hinges here on one witness. What does that tell you about their case? Well, it, it tells me the state has a very difficult uphill challenge in this case. Uh, you know, a lack of eyewitnesses, a lack of bullets. Uh, there are some incriminating statements that Mr. Kelly made that might get him in some trouble. Uh, for example, I mean, the entire story, I was only shooting above the people's heads, and I don't know how the illegal immigrant got killed. I, I don't think most jurors are going to believe that. Uh, they also, he also had his gun hidden when police searched his house. You know, if it's truly someone who has no idea what's going on had nothing to do with it. I'm just saying some of the things he's saying and some of his actions most certainly do not support his claim. Yeah, and speaking of some of the things he's saying, I mean, we just heard from him live here on our air, Ali Bradley grabbing him as he was walking into court. He said he's feeling hopeful. Uh, do you think that's a fair statement from him? Yeah, absolutely. I think prosecutors are beginning to see how difficult this case is because, you know, the, the, the other witnesses, the other people that were in this group, looks like they cannot secure them. And if you don't have that individual, uh, the one who we know only by his uh, uh, abbreviations, I think prosecutors are likely going to lose this case. And in fact, I think there's a better chance that these charges get dismissed by the prosecutors because they know that they probably can't win this case. I do want to ask you about uh, some of the evidence or potential evidence in this trial. The defense is trying to keep some of Kelly's text messages from being used as evidence in trial. Uh, for example, there are some messages he sent to a friend describing having his AK-47 at the ready to stop migrants on his property. What's the likelihood that those texts get thrown out? I think some already have. I think the judge has found that some of these texts are too, uh, you know, too incendiary for the jurors to potentially hear. Now, there's some other ones that may come in. We'll have to see. Uh, but, you know, just the actions of this judge indicate a judge who's pretty sympathetic to this defendant and seems to be bending over backward to make the prosecutor's case more difficult. Uh, if all of the texts get banned and are excluded from the trial, I don't think there's any question that Mr. Kelly is going to either be found not guilty or the charges will be dropped. Yeah, a lot to watch here. We will see what happens in just a few hours. Andrew Stoltman, thanks so much for your insight. Appreciate it. Anytime. Thank, Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.